Good morning. Welcome to our devotional time this morning. We're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verse 56 to 66. And Mary remained with her about three months and returned to her house. Now Elizabeth's full time came for her to be delivered, and she brought forth a son. When her neighbors and relatives heard how the Lord had shown great mercy to her, they rejoiced with her. So it was on the eighth day that they came to circumcise the child, and they would have called him by the name of his father, Zacharias. His mother answered and said, No, he shall be called John. But they said to her, There is no one among your relatives who is called by this name. So they made signs to his father what he would have him called. And he asked for a writing tablet and wrote, saying, His name is John. So they all marveled. Immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue loosed, and he spoke, praising God. Then fear came on all those who dwelt around them, and all these sayings were discussed throughout all the hill country of Judea. And all those who heard them kept them in their hearts, saying, What kind of child will this be? And the hand of the Lord was with him. Now we're going to pause there, and we're going to get what Zechariah prophesied coming up. But, and I'm wondering if that's what happened when his mouth was loosed. But uh, what we have here, though, let's look at this. So notice that there's a dispute about the name. It's going to be something a little bit different, and everybody's kind of surprised because he would name the kid Zacharias. But, but Zach, Zacharias says, no, we're going to name him John, just like she said. And then we come to this part here at the end. Fear came around all those that dwelt around there, because when his, his mouth was open, as soon as he, they decided to name him John and the father pronounced it, the father could speak again. Remember, he had been mute all those months from the vision that was seen in the temple. Uh, so this would be the better part of a year, almost a whole year, uh, nine months or so at least. And so now his father speaks and he gives praise to God, perhaps the next section of Luke, which we'll look at starting at tomorrow morning. But anyway, this part here at verse 65 and 66, fear came upon all those that dwelt around them and all those that heard about this. They kept this in their hearts saying, what kind of child will this be? And the hand of the Lord was with him. So this is going to be John the Baptist a few years down the road, and we, we all probably already know that story. But at his birth, there was a, a big word that went out. There was, this was a, this, there was a miracle surrounding it, and a, a notable sign was given because John is going to be the forerunner of the Messiah. And so very interesting how God used this situation to, uh, to wake people up. He gave them a sign, and he's, he's waking them up. And the, the fear of God came upon the people. And what kind of a child will this be? John the Baptist becomes a notable figure in, in all the time of human history. And he's the forerunner of Jesus. So he's going to herald the coming of Jesus. So yes, this is very interesting. And God is using an individual, just a regular individual here. He is using him and the situation that he created around him to get people to, to, to think, to stop and stop and think again. About, about the things of God. And sometimes God will use things in our lives or around us to get other people to, 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 to you know, turn the crank and begin to think about the things of God. So when that happens, what should people do? Think about the things of God. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, there's a lot of things that people are thinking about in our world, uh, lots of stuff that really doesn't matter, lots of high-minded human ideas. But Lord, when we come to the Bible, we are blessed. We see that you are always working to bring our thoughts back to the ways you interact with humanity. So Lord, uh, thank you for the way you work with John and in our lives work as well, please, according to the riches of your wisdom, knowing how to get people stimulated to think on spiritual things. We just ask you to do that around us and we ask for it in Jesus' name. Amen. God be with you this day. God bless you.